Good day everybody, welcome to this part of the timing video. In this part, we're going to remove the harmonic balancer. We're gonna remove the timing chain cover. First thing we need to do is pull the bolt out of the balancer so we can pull the hub off and then remove all the bolts for the cover. Oil is drained so we can get access to the timing chains. Please be advised that the crank bolt is a one-time use. We keep this washer around because you're going to need it later. And it's not uncommon that most likely you're going to have to run a tap to the holes before we get started. Now we're going to pull the hub off as you can see even with the radiator removed space is tight so I'm going to bust out the air gun I got this air cat impact which is small I'm hoping it'll have the power to pull that off See if the air cat can do it Now that we got the balancer off, want to have a look at it. Make sure it's still all in good shape and doesn't seem like it's coming apart on us. Now to, just, now to start removing the timing cover on the bottom of the oil pan, there's four bolts. I'm going to start taking those off and then we'll work on the ones on the front. Now we get to pull all the bolts from the front. There's a few different socket sizes. There's, uh, I believe, an 18, a 15, and a 13 mil you're going to need. For this line here, down here, transmission lines I disconnected, and there's another one on the wiring loom that goes on this bottom pin. Those are all disconnected. We're going to start with the 13 mils first. same size as well. Let's see if I can get in there. Oh. Bastard. I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Yeah, the funny thing is, once you start putting swivels on stuff, Everything loses all of its torque in the gun. Now that I broke it free, it'll just come out now. Just like that. Take these ones out. And it's kind of important you know where they go. So I'm just going to lay them in line on the side. I don't, know, I don't think there's. No more hidden bolts that I am aware of. So let's lift this cover off and have a look. I'm actually quite surprised on the inside of this cover how clean it looks. Holy shit, I was expecting it to be a whole lot worse. On a positive note, I am not seeing any broken guides. I don't know if the tensioners are blown out. What I can do is mark that ring. And I'm gonna take it off carefully. It's keyed so it can only go one way, but you gotta make sure teeth point outwards. 
interesting enough it even says front so you don't have to worry about screwing it up this is where it's going to get interesting so let's put my my timing lock into place there we go we got the right side here get some light on the subject right timing marks are way off got the left side there and timing marks for that one are nowhere to be found this is where I stand we're gonna start taking everything apart I got my cam or my crankshaft tool and below I made some references on my cams both sides I can go off of because since we're not going to be removing any camp followers and all that BS got the vice grips ready because once we take that chain off those camshafts are going to want to roll and theoretically as long as you got the colored link on the bottom lined up and then matched up up there you'll be fine however this is going to make it a little bit difficult because whoever was inside here last did not do a good job of lining up the chains, so I got to deal with the mess. Got to make reference of the bolts. One is longer than the other. This one here is a short bolt. And a long bolt on the bottom. All timing components are removed. You can see this tensioner right there is blowing out. And this tensioner right there is blowing out. And this guy just busted right there. That's the only piece, but I'm not going to drop the oil pan for that. That's not going to happen. All right, well, I'm going to end the video there of removing the timing. I was actually going to put the installation of the new timing gears, but I figure this will be better suited as a shorter video. And then people can actually look at the other video because as you guys noticed earlier somebody was in this truck before and didn't have the timing marks aligned they just kind of um, set the chains wherever which also leads me to the conclusion in case people are wondering do you need the special tools no you don't just need some vice grips on the camshafts themselves I just have this one leaning down but it does have a neutral position right there but those springs 
have some major tension there. That one there is in its neutral position right there and it actually stays. Now, the only thing you really need to do, instead of having all these tools, removing valve lash adjusters and, you know, making more of a headache for yourself, you don't even need this adjuster tool either, but it does make it nice that you can set it up on that pin down below with the crankshaft set up properly and then put your chains on to make sure that your timing's set up properly. I just put in a new oil pump. That was a nightmare. That'll be in the next video. So I'm going to end the video there. Hopefully that answers some questions for you because that was something I was wondering too. And when I got to that part on the service manual, I didn't want to go through all that trouble removing the valve lash adjusters and doing this and that, moving the crank to this position and then moving it to this position and then no longer moving it. I just use that tool, which you don't really need, but it helps set it at the doll pin, put vice grips on your camshafts, remove your timing, make sure you have your hand on the vice grips because the camshaft may want to spin on you depending whereabouts it is. And that's it. I'm going to get going in the next video. Like I said, this is the oil pump video. And then the video after that, we're actually going to be doing the timing. So I'll talk to you guys later.